getting cold. When will these novices learn to close the door? I found some beech nuts. Ah, we will grow a beech tree then. Wonderful. If we ever get round to starting the gun. I'm sure you will. Brother Caspers. Philip. I'm looking for a document that was given to Prior James. It's probably in the Prior's room then. I will leave you to your work. I will leave you to yours. But I believe I found your keys. Where did you find them? The thief hid them in the cathedral. That is a sacrilege. Will you report the thief to Remigius, Brother Philip? I already have. Keep them until we know what to do, will you? We must. Brother Arnaldus, there's a chapter meeting today. Today? I'll be there. Wouldn't miss that. There will be a chapter meeting today. You convinced Andrew? Miracles do happen. We will be there. You have our support. There will be a chapter meeting today. Excellent. I can't wait to see you and Remigius quarrel. Brother Cuthbert? Do not worry. We are on your side. <laughs> There will be a chapter meeting soon. Ah, thank you for letting me know, Philip. Remember my advice about Remigius. There will be a chapter meeting in a few minutes. Oh yes, we will be there. Thank you for letting us know. The sacrist agreed to a meeting today. That way I might be able to get the letter you are looking for. Good thinking, Philip. I will attend, of course. Brother Andrew has arranged a meeting. Yes, 
Please go ahead. We will be there in a few minutes. The choir has finished singing. The cantor should find time now. Are you ready for the chapter meeting, Brother Philip? If you have any other business to take care of in Kingsbridge, do it now. The meeting could take a long time. The chapter meeting is more important. And this is why Prior James's wish must not be honored. Kingsbridge Priory would be beyond saving without financial records. I think we have all understood the reason for your concern, Brother Philip. But before we come to a decision, let us hear other voices of concern. I would like to know why you would doubt the wisdom in Prior James's decision. Maybe you didn't know him as well as we did. So did you know him? What are you trying to achieve with your silence? You waste our time. I say he knew him well. James was the one who asked Philip to take care of St. John in the forest. One of the most prosperous cells in all of Shiring, if not England. It was a wise decision, then. But his last wish was not. Well, was it? What are you waiting for? Answer me! Your silence is offensive. You came to talk, so talk. Prior James was a troubled man. Yes. He left the Priory in the dead of night. God was testing Prior James. I say the devil chased him. Do you doubt that? Do you doubt that, Philip? Surely you must have an answer. I know because Prior James confided in me. Maybe it wasn't the devil. We've never seen him. Don't speak for him. He hasn't answered any of my questions. The novices would be better advised not to speak up. Philip is a good man. He was the only one to say I should have a fire. But did he do anything besides talk? Yes. He brought me a hot stone. That's our Philip. But why don't you tell us the real reason you have come before us? You not only came to save these books, you have another motivation, do you not? We deserve the truth. What are your true intentions? Let me answer. No! Why is he not answering any of my questions? Tell him, all of you, tell him to answer me. Calm down, Remigius. Philip has said what he had to say. Why is no one listening to me? Look around you. This priory is in a sorry state. Please vote to save the prior's documents from the fire. It's the only way to help this priory. I say we leave the decision not up to a vote, but to Remedius. That is against the rules. Is it? He will be our new prior in a few days. Cuthbert declined, do you not remember? I remember well. And I say no one in Kingsbridge is better suited for prior than Remedius. Oh, <clears throat> well, 
Thank you, brother. Unfortunately not. Yeah, that's true. Here, here. I wonder why Cuthbert declined. Surely not. That said, there is someone not from our priory. Someone better suited. I nominate Philip of Gwyneth to be the new prior of Kingsbridge. Eh, what do you say, Philip? I can't disagree with that. Well, Ailey. yes, obviously, my choice. What? Excellent Ailey. choice. Ailey. What about Remedius? That's surprising. Great Prior idea. Philip. Brother Philip, do you accept the nomination? Thank you for your kind offer, but we would not want to impose on you, Brother Remigius. Oh, but, but I insist. I will help you. Oh, you really must not. We will see you later. Thank you. We don't have much time. Evening Mass will begin soon. Should I not have accepted the nomination? You've never been good at saying no. And Milius is right. Kingsbridge needs you. What about St. John's? I will ride there tomorrow. I will let them know you will be staying in Kingsbridge for a few days. Thanks to you, these documents and books will not be burned. Now, we have to find that letter. You truly think the letter can help prevent a war? If the message says what I think it says, then yes, I do. Now, let us look for the letter. James was working on a text. Our God is a consuming fire, and whom he destroyed shall be raised at the end of days, and shall destroy him. The first line is from the scripture, but I do not believe the second one is. Philip, we must focus on the letter. Nothing here. If we must, we'll look between the pages of every single book. But for now, let's concentrate on the more obvious places to search. It is getting dark. We don't have much time. Do you know what the letter looks like? Sorry, I don't. The writing here is strangely distorted and illegible. But it must be James's writing. Age can be a troublesome burden. Hmm. The 
handwriting on this tablet is hardly legible. Whoever sheds the blood of man, by man shall his blood be shed. Did Prior James write this? Let's continue looking. Francis, I think I found it. In the Bible? Revelations. The Apocalypse of St. John. And they called to the mountains and rocks. Fall on us and hide us from the face of him who is seated on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of their wrath has come, and who can stand? The Lamb? What was James afraid of? Was it this letter? No, the letter is still sealed. Break the seal! Oh, this is it. You found it. The Earl of Shiring is about to start a war. Yes. He's made contact with my own master, Earl Robert of Gloucester. Who is this King Stephen that has taken the throne? A nephew of King Henry. Do you ever think of the day our parents died? Francis, you know I don't like to talk of that. I know. It's just that I think of them all the time. And I've always blamed King Henry. The church suffered under his rule as much as we did in Wales. Philip, you have to show this letter to the Bishop of Kingsbridge. The Bishop of Kingsbridge? Why? Our late King Henry was opposed to Rome's influence in England. King Stephen, on the other hand, swore to preserve the rights and privileges of the Church, and we can help him if you tell the Bishop to protect Stephen. You want the Bishop to help the new King, King Stephen? I want a King who supports the Church. I want these dark times to end. I want to stop the Earl of Shiring from starting a war. He could set the whole of England on fire. My Lord the Earl of Gloucester can never know what I was doing here. You must not tell the truth about how or where you got this letter. Don't tell anyone I was involved. Do you really think the Bishop will help? Tell him you found the letter by coincidence. And if he does not believe me, what then? He will believe you. The question is, will he really try to stop the Earl of Shiring? I will write to St. John's and tell your monks you will stay in Kingsbridge until the election. What if the Earl of Shiring finds out what I'm doing? What if the bishop tells him? Philip, calm down. He is your bishop. I'm a simple monk. Who am I to talk to a bishop? 